Today we're going to be showing you guys how to take a 7 site measurement skinfold test. The reasoning behind skinfold test measurements is the amount of subcutaneous fat that is proportional to the total amount of body fat. Skinfold assessments of the body composition is dependent on the expertise of the technician and other factors that can contribute to error, like poor technique, inexperience, extremely obese or lean subject, or improperly calibrated caliper. These are some pictures of some different types of calipers that may be used. When using a caliper, place directly on the skin surface, one centimeter away from your fingers and thumb. Make sure it's halfway between the fold and the crest, and you maintain the pinch during the reading. Read the caliper within half a second and no longer, taking duplicate measurements, and when doing so, rotate through measurements to allow the skin to go back to normal, thickness, and texture. With the caliper that we will be using today is very unique in which it lets you know when a full pinch has been made and has a sliding reader for measurement which is extremely helpful when taking measurements. In this figure it shows you exactly where the seven sites are and where we will be measuring. Making sure that you are on the right side of the body when taking the measurements. Make sure subject is relaxed and that you are using the right side of the body. We'll be marking our seven sites first to help with our skin folds. Tricep area is a posterior midline of the upper arm halfway between the acromion process, which is the shoulder, and the olecranon process, the elbow. Arm is held freely at the side of the body and will be a vertical fold. The subscapular fold is a diagonal fold. If you cannot locate the scapula, you can have them bring their arm behind their back and scapular would be noticeable. This will be a 1 to 2 centimeter inferior angle of the scapula. The mid auxiliary is a vertical fold. The mid auxiliary line is at the level of the sideward process and the sternum. With girls, it's easy to access with the sports bra, which is usually an indicator at the end of it. Guys would be at the chest line. Next is the abdominal area, which is 2 centimeters to the right of the umbilicus, your belly button. This will be a vertical fold. Next we will do the super ilialic. Make sure that it is right by the hip bone. You can have the subject point out their hip bone if that is more comfortable for them. It is anterior axillary line, which is immediate superior to the ilialic crest, the hip bone, in line with the natural angle of the ilialic crest taken. We will next mark the chest area. For women, it is about one third of the distance between the anterior axillary line and the nipple. For men, it will be half the distance between the axillary line and their nipple. In the thigh area, it is midway between the proximal border of the patella, the knee, which is the knee, and the inaugural crease, which is at the hip. And it is anterior midline of the thigh. We will now be taking the skin fold measurements. With a tricep, make sure that you do have a vertical fold and that you are separating the skin from the muscle. Make sure that you do place your caliper back at zero for the next fold. For subscapular, make sure that you are at a diagonal fold and that you do separate, again, the skin from the muscle. Make sure to maintain your pinch and that it's directly on the skin. And, it doesn't, it doesn't and reset. Next, we'll be doing the mid-auxiliary. Make sure that you are doing it in the correct place where you have marked, and this will be a vertical fold. Pulling away the skin from the muscle and take your measurement. And you eat a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Next we will do the chest area. You may have the subject hold their bra if it is a female to help out. And with here, make sure that you are doing a diagonal fold. maintaining the pinch of course. Next we will be doing the superiliotic. 
which is a diagonal fold. Make sure you do separate skin from the muscle, maintain pinch, and take your reading. Same with the vertical fold in the abdominal area. Maintaining the pinch as you take the measurement. Lastly, we'll be doing the thigh area. Make sure that the subject does have all their weight on the left side of their leg, keeping it loose to be able to take a good measurement. This will also be a vertical hold. Make sure to maintain pinch, especially in the thigh area. Make sure to record all your measurements, and here is your seven site skin fold test. Here is something that I created along the lines to record your measurements, and something that you can follow. You may take up to two trials to be able to get an accurate average, but make sure to that you rotate through measurements to allow skin to go back to normal of thickness and texture. Male and female equations are listed below to help you calculate bone density for the subjects.